Hey, good morning, 60. How's everybody today? I was thinking, um, you know what? Um, the be often the best thing in my life, um, is my dog, you know? Um, um, you know, ki kids make a family, dog makes a home, and that's how I feel about it. Um, and also, uh, you know, none of my dogs ever needed braces or, or wrecked my car. Um, so there's that, you know, um, but, um, so, um, my first dog I ever had was Bailey and, um, she was, um, she was a giant Airedale. Oh man, it's still the love of my life. Right. And, uh, and I have to tell you, oh man, oh man, when a dog passes, it's, it's worse than a human. Um, it, it truly is. Oh, uh, um. I have to tell you. Um, anyway, when uh, Bailey died, I took it really hard. Uh, you know, in fact, I was in bed for like three days, and then my buddy Kenny had like came over and like, get your ass out of bed. We're gonna play scramble. You're doing something. You can't pile, lay around forever. You gotta move on. Um, so um, that's what he did. That's what my buddy Kenny does. So when my son got married, we're in North Carolina, right? And, uh, and, uh, whoever put the wedding together, they put a little montage of, uh, Neil and his wife, they put pictures together of them as children. And, um, they put a picture of Neil and Bailey, and Neil's hugging Bailey, and the guy who was standing beside me, he just goes, oh, here we go, this big pussy's gonna start crying right now. <laughs> He's like, try not to ruin the wedding for everybody if you can, okay? Dog's been dead four years, let it go. Oh, but I always have dogs, and of course they always have um, clever white people names, you know, like Macy and Hurley and and Bailey. Um, I named all my uh, dogs after white point guards. Then I decided to name one Murphy after Calvin Murphy. Um, and then, uh, uh, but then I found out Calvin was a pedophile, so that's kind of weird for that dog. Uh, and then my guy right now is Rufus. My main man right now is Rufus, and he is a big golden doodle, right? Uh, which is half golden retriever, half poodle, and he is the best dog in the world. He is, he is exactly like me at 14. You know what I mean? Um, all he needs is, you know, a box of cereal and a ball. And he's good, you know what I mean? That's all. Um, my buddy Carmen says about dogs, if you throw your dog and your wife in the trunk of your car and ride around all night, which one's going to be happy to see you in the morning? <laughs> that just cracks me up. I know it's mean. Hashtag me too. I get it. Shut up. Um, okay, but it is very funny because, you know, when you open that trunk, the dog's going to be like, hey, Hey, Jimbo, you got a ball, I got to pee. <laughs> That's it, right? Um, um, your wife, probably not so much, right? Um, so anyway, dogs are great. Um, but um, I think I'm going to change the trending in, in uh, naming my dogs next. I'm done with the clever names for dogs. I think my next two dogs I'm going to name Nancy and Tanya. Oh, I, oh, um, if, yeah, I like that. Um, Nancy and Tanya. Or, or maybe... Um, uh, Jeff and Bill. You know what I mean, Jeff's a great name for a dog. Or Carl, you know. Um, but I hope, uh, I hope by the time you have dogs, that you're away from the clever dog name, and that that horrible names are really cool and chic again. You know what I mean? Um, by the way, Tanya would be after Tanya Harding, and Nancy would be after my mom. <laughs> okay. All right. So peace. Be sixty.